Hi there and welcome back to Abnali's Cuisine. Yes, you're all doing amazing. If you're new here, please do well to subscribe and if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I share this rich and delicious Ghana pound cake recipe. Without wasting my time, let's get it started. In a bowl, I have some sifted flour, then I'll add some baking powder, some salt, and some nutmeg. I will proceed to mix everything together thoroughly until all dry ingredients are well combined. Please note that all details of ingredients have been listed down in the description box. So I will set it aside for later use. Next are my wet ingredients. So I have some fresh eggs, some evaporated milk, and my vanilla essence. You can use whatever flavor that you prefer. I will proceed to mix them very well to incorporate air into all my wet ingredients. As soon as bubbles forms on top of our wet ingredients, it indicates that enough air has been well incorporated into it, so I will set it aside for later use. Now for the creaming things, I have some margarine and some granulated sugar. I proceeded to cream them together until I had a very light and fluffy consistency. I use the hand mixer for this step, but if you don't have it, no need to worry since you can do it the manual way. And that's by using your hands and a wooden spatula or a whisk. Whichever way that you choose, it will turn out just perfect. So that's the perfect consistency that I'm looking out for. As you can see, it looks very light and very fluffy. I will then scrape the sides of my mixing bowl. I did this intermittently when I was doing my creaming process. So there you have it, it looks really good. I will continue by adding my wet ingredients into my creamed margarine and sugar. Again, using my hand mixer, I will mix all my ingredients together until they are well and thoroughly combined. I did this for about two minutes. Now for this process, if your wet ingredients do not combine well with your cream, margarine and sugar, no need to worry because whichever way, it will just work out very well. That's the outcome of mixing them together. I'll proceed to add my dry ingredients, but I'll be adding them gradually. I then use my spatula to mix everything together until all the ingredients were well combined. I prefer to use the spatula because it makes the mixing process very easier and it doesn't really create any mess at all. So it's a personal preference. Feel free to use whatever tool that you have at your disposal. I will add the remaining dry ingredients and repeat the same process in mixing it. So if you've made it far to this part of the video, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel if you have not and turn on post notification by clicking on the red bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a video since I have amazing content coming your way. I then proceeded to transfer my butter into my coated baking pan. I made sure to coat my pan with some flour and margarine 
in order to avoid my cake from sticking into it when it's fully baked. Next, I made sure to spread my batter out evenly into my baking pan. Whilst doing this, I made sure to tap it out to remove any bubbles. Proceed to bake your cake in a preheated oven for approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Our pound cake is ready so I'll use a skewer to check if it's fully baked. And there you have it, it turned out just perfect. It's so soft and moist and it tasted absolutely delicious. Oh wow, look at how spongy our cake turned out. I hope you totally enjoyed this video. Please do well to comment, like, share and please don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next one. Bye!